Hey guys, I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com, and the G1, or the Google Phone, as I like to call it, was the original Android device when it launched in T-Mobile in 2008. To that end, HTC and T-Mobile have answered the call with the T-Mobile G2. It's the newest version in the G-Series. The phone application is relatively unchanged from previous Android versions, although there's a neat feature which uh, I tried to call, but apparently it doesn't do it for unknown. In the call log uh, on Android 2.2, when you have somebody that calls you, let's say mom calls you twice, and uh, instead of having unknown, unknown like it looks like right now, you'll see mom, and then you'll be able to click in, you know, say two calls uh, versus just having them all listed separately. So that's a nice benefit. Otherwise, very similar. Phone, voicemail shortcut, contacts, which don't have any in there, and then favorites uh, as well, which will automatically populate depending on who you call the most and you can add favorites as well from there and add contacts as well. Talk a little bit about the social networking features. It comes with Twitter and Facebook installed out of the box and so you can sign in here through Twitter and I'll pop up I'll do phone dog Aaron not phone dog com it's a problem when you look in the camera and try to do it that way. Phone dog Aaron jump off here Sign in, and it'll log in from there. Let's see here. Sync with existing contacts, and then we're logged into Twitter. So I can send a tweet, and let's say, "Hello from Hello from G2, or not from G2, from G2," and hit update. and go from there and then when I go back out I can go over to the Twitter widget and I have that there and then if I wanted to log into Facebook I could do the same thing but let's have a look at the widgets one thing you'll notice on Android 2.2 on the G2 at least there are Google Voice widgets which is uh, Google Voice is pre-installed on the device there's Google Voice inbox and Google Voice settings pre-installed uh, or pre-installed widgets rather as well in addition to the typical market music news and weather all of those uh, power control, quick keys, which let's use that one for example. You can set your quick keys from the home screen. But let's go back to widgets and such. And Twitter, YouTube, all the typical widgets that you would expect from the device. So those are there as well. One of my favorite features about Android in particular, but it does it well on the G2, uh, is the Google search bar and the Google Voice uh, voice search that comes pre-installed on the G2. Neat feature that allows you to use your voice versus trying to type it in uh, while you're, you have several bags in your hand or something of that nature. You can click voice search and put in whatever, or say find whatever you want to find. So you could use it for grocery stores, Walmart, wherever you need to go and it's nice because it also works with the phone's GPS. I've used it several times while I'm on vacation to find a grocery store, a good restaurant, uh, etc, etc. So let's do find David Hasselhoff because David Hasselhoff has cool hair, just like me. So we found him on the internet, at least we found his Wikipedia page, uh, his website, davidhasselhoff.com. I'm going to uh, gonna spare you there and not go to that. Um, Hoff space. Um, apparently, uh, apparently people don't like David Hasselhoff there. Uh, you know, but it shows you uh, a couple different search options. So that's a neat feature as well. Let's jump over to the camera. The uh, G2 has a five megapixel camera with a flash. And uh, as you would expect, you know, it's a decent camera. It's not the greatest in the world. Uh, not the greatest on a mobile device by any means. But it's a decent camera, good for snapping quick shots. And it's, uh, the camera shoots 720p video as well. Again, it's not going to replace your camcorder, but for those times you're outside and a significant other does something you want to record and mock them later for. I'm not saying I've done that, I'm just saying. <laughs> or, uh, you know, shoot a quick picture, it's fine, provided you have a decent amount of light. So let's take a picture just for example of, uh, I have the Droid X over here. Take a picture. You can get an idea. The camera never does it justice. The video camera, that is, never does it justice. But we'll see here. Get a zoom. And we'll jump over. And you can see, you know, relatively decent picture. Ooh, I'm not sure who that strappingly good-looking gentleman is there on the phone, but uh, he's on there. Oh, there's another one. He's on there as well. So, uh, oh, hello. Uh, you know, so those, you know, needless to say, it was all for testing purposes. Um, I was not using the G2's camera for, uh, <laughs> for, for, for fun or anything like that. This was strictly for testing purposes. But you can see, 
relatively decent camera. Shows color as well. Just make sure you use it uh, in the right amount of light. Or if you're in a low lit situation, you use the flash to your advantage. So as I said before, the G2 is T-Mobile's first HSPA Plus cell phone. You know, they've had HSPA Plus data cards. But this is their first HSPA Plus equipped cell phone that people can use. So the internet speeds uh, can reach theoretically up to 21 megabits per second on HSPA Plus. So all in all, this should be an extremely fast device when it comes to browsing the internet, provided that you're in an HSPA Plus market. Uh, that said, you know, I have a T-Mobile cell site on the property right outside of my office window that I can see from my office window, uh, and I've been less than pleased with speed test numbers. We'll actually do one on here right now, but I've been less than pleased with speed test numbers, and I'm not sure if that's the cell site itself. You know, I've, I've gone through several different places in Charlotte and had very similar results, and I'm not sure if it's, you know, they're working on it, tweaking it right now in the Charlotte metro area, uh, or if it's my device, or if it's the combination uh, of both, but let's have a look here. We'll do a live speed test. Now, let's get an idea. And so this is running on HSPA Plus, so have a look at the uh, kilobits per second number right now. 2053 down, kilobits per second down. Thirteen forty three kilobits per second up and you can see it's running on their HSPA Plus um, network. It's interesting because actually the, the sign instead of saying 3G or H and H Plus it stays H across the board uh, as long as you have 3G connectivity so it's a little bit frustrating. I found there were times where my speed test numbers were a little bit low and I went, I went in and looked and I was running on HSDPA not HSPA Plus so you never know unless you go into the menu because that H stays the same anytime you're in a 3G market. Uh, a little bit interesting there. Let's run another one actually. Let's turn on, it's fun to do this on the camera. Let's turn on location. Let's make sure it's GPS satellites. For whatever reason, they're no, they're no longer turning that on by default. The device is reset, so let's get a See if we can get a more accurate server. Okay, so we use Greensboro, which isn't too far from us, just to get another idea. Test a different server, see what's going on. Again, we're on HSPA Plus. Seems a little faster this time. I think it may break over three. 3,000 kilobits per second. Uh, it's going to hover 2,905. And then on the upload, let's look at it to be about 1,400 kilobits per second, somewhere in there. Yep, 1,342. So you can see two tests on T-Mobile's HSPA Plus network. Uh, less than seller results. Again, that could be the cell site that I'm working with right now. There are a ton of variables to where I can't say, you know, it's the HSPA network per se. But there have been several places I've been in Charlotte. Uh, where I've gotten similar results, somewhere in the 2 to 3.8 or 3,800 kilobits per second range on the download. So, a little bit frustrating. Uh, we'll wait to see what happens with that. I will uh, reach out to T-Mobile and see if we can uh, get, a, get an answer for you. Otherwise, uh, battery life is pretty decent on this device. I've been really pleased. I was able to make it with, with moderate to heavy use, you know, texting, emailing, calling, uh, use of Android market, browsing the web, using navigation. I was able to make it into the early evening uh, before the device powered off, and it doesn't have a 1500 milliamp battery. It actually has a 1300 milliamp battery. Uh, you know, so given the fact that the battery is a little bit smaller, it's impressive to see that it uh, it definitely held its own. Put it that way. So there you have it, the T-Mobile G2. It's available from T-Mobile right now for 199.99 after rebate if you're on an even more plan, which is their contract plan, or 499.99 if you're on even more plus, uh, and they have some installment options as well. Uh, so if you're looking for financing on the device, T-Mobile has this as well. Again, special thanks to T-Mobile for hooking us up with a review unit. As always, be sure to like our page on Facebook, facebook.com slash phone dog. Head over there. We're giving iPads away, and I'm sure that'll continue. We'll have giveaways and other exciting things in the future. Be sure to head over to our page. Like us. We'll certainly appreciate it. And hey, I'm on there every now and again. Sydney's on there every now and again. We do live broadcasts. We do live chats. It's a fun environment, so be sure to join us. And also be sure to follow me on Twitter, PhoneDog underscore Aaron. You know, I love talking to you guys, uh, just answering anything from 
uh, tell me about your hair, to why do you wear tweed jackets, to tell me about the, uh, the T-Mobile G2. So any questions, comments, thoughts you have, I really do love communicating with you guys. It's a lot of fun, uh, and you guys are what make Phone Dog work and go around. So be sure to follow me, Phone Dog underscore Aaron. Thanks for watching. I'm Aaron. Much more coverage to come on the T-Mobile G2 on PhoneDog.com. Take care. <laughs>